Hello everyone, it's Sharon and in today's video I'm going to share with you my favorite nail products for an at-home manicure. I have always loved doing my nails and um, I've collected a lot of products. Especially since quarantine, I did a lot of these prior to coronavirus and quarantine, um, but some of these are newer to me. And I just wanted to share with you what I've been loving. There are so many options of ways you can do your nails at home, and with just a little bit of practice, you can really perfect it and save yourself so much money from going to the salon. And I really enjoy doing my nails, that's the other thing. It's kind of, you know, quiet time for me to sit down, relax, concentrate on something, maybe have some TV on in the background. I just really enjoy it. So if you wanna see the items that I've been loving for an at-home manicure, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna start with the basics and kind of work my way up. Basics being first, just regular old-fashioned nail polish. I have a couple of favorites here to share with you. The first are some polishes. My all-time favorite, I think, brand is OPI. I just really like them. There's great polishes. I have so many brands over here from Ulta Beauty, Orly, Essence, um, Essie. I don't really like Essie. Some of their colors are really unique, but the formula is not great. But I think most of all, I have OPI and I love them the most. Two of my all time favorite colors here are That's Hot Pink. It was the very first OPI polish that I bought was OPI That's Hot Pink. Love this. And then Lincoln Park After Dark. I bought several bottles of this. I absolutely love it. It's a really dark purple. So it's not quite black, but it almost looks like that when you have it on. I just love this. So these are two of my faves. This is one of my favorite top coats. It's very affordable. It's the Out the Door brand. Or the brand is I&M, but um, it's the Out, Out the Door top coat. I really like this. Yeah. Um, in terms of files, I will share this one with you. I love these four-sided files that um, you can do all the things you need to do. You can file the edge of your nail, you rough up the base, you smooth out the base, and then you polish it off. So I love anything like this. I get these at Walmart. Really good. Any sort of buffing block, really good to have. So yeah, so those are my basics on like just plain old-fashioned nail polish. Um, I do, I forgot to grab it. I do like the Orly Bonder base coat. That stuff's really good. And a lot of times if I'm taking my time on actual polish, I will put that on first and then my polish and a top coat. Okay, next I have been loving gel polish. I have been doing my at-home gel manicures for about a year now. Um, they do take a little bit more time because you really have to concentrate and you have to allow the time for the polish to cure. Um, I haven't gotten into the world of dip powder yet. I think that's next. I think for Christmas I might ask my mom or something for um, like a dip kit so I can practice that. But right now I've been using gel. Um, this is the lamp I got just from Amazon. It's the Teresa UV LED nail lamp. I don't believe it was expensive. I will link it below if you can still get this particular lamp. Um, I think maybe you can't because I looked it up when my boss wanted to know what I was using and I don't think this one is available but Honestly, I just looked at what had good reviews and what was in a price point that I wanted. Any of these will work. Lately, I've been using this Beatles brand Top It Off Top and Base Coat. It's a so foundation and top coat. You need these because you have to do this first. I just got these from Amazon. I would probably look into getting some sort of like kit to start out with. Um, it might be a little pricier, but it will typically give you all the things that you need, a foundation, a base, all of that. So definitely look into some sort of kit. If I can find a good one, I'll link it below for you. But yeah, I've been loving that. Oh, to go with it is this um, IBD LED UV bonder. So you put this on first, then you do the base coat. Well, you put this on, cure it, base coat, cure it, polish, cure it, and then your top coat. So that's how that works. Those are all things I recommend. My favorite polishes I have found, or gel polishes, I got off Amazon, and it's the Elite 99 brand. If you just search for gel polish, they come in big kits where you get a ton of colors. For like $15 or $16, you maybe get like eight colors sometimes. So there's definitely good deals out there. These are little bitty like bottles, but they, they last. I haven't gone through any of them yet, and this is one of my favorite colors. 
It's um, 1530 in the Elite 99 gel polish brand and it's like a really beautiful neon like magenta -y pink kind of color. Um, to go with that I have oops, I have this like nail I don't know whatever it's called. Um, oh here's that color it's that 1530 right here. You can see how pretty that is. But I got tired of not being able to tell what colors these were. So I just got these off Amazon where you could paint it on there, cure it. I mean, it took me some time to do it, but I was able to write all the color um, numbers on here because gel polish doesn't have names. They just have numbers. So it was really hard to tell what color I was reaching for. Um, so this is really helpful now where I can just pull this down and see what colors that I have and what I want to use. But all in all, I really like doing gel polish. It does last week, week and a half, depending on how precise you were. If you get messy and kind of get onto your skin, it's much more prone to peel off. So just know that. Just take your time. Yeah. Um, oh, to go with the gel, I like these gloves. It's to help protect your hand. It's the Elite 99 brand. <laughs> it's just fingerless gloves so it looks silly when you're wearing them but it just protects your hand from the uv light because it isn't good for you okay moving on um this is another like accessory i just got a new bag of these it's the hands down ultra nail pads these are awesome for removing polish because they aren't like a typical cotton round where you're gonna get like all those fuzzies off it's just a different kind of material and on the back it's like plastic and it has a tab so you can kind of hold on to it so you're not getting other polish over here or if you just need to take off one nail because you smudged it but this hand looks great you're not going to mess up all your polish on this hand because it has that plastic barrier on the back these are wonderful i get them at sally's i believe they have them online as well on amazon they're wonderful i will link them if i can find them okay now moving on to what i've been loving the most recently are like press on nails um, I have been loving press on nails or glue on plastic nails. What I'm wearing right now is from Kiss. It is the acrylic nude set in the petite size. That is the key. Kind of hate that I'm sharing it with you because I love these and I, they're kind of hard to find sometimes. When I do find them, I buy a couple of packs at a time because I love them so much. I'm wearing them now. And just to flip it over, like this one you can see the tip of, but like these, you can't. Um, they're they're just short and this one um, you can see them a little bit just because I think my nail beds are smaller on my left hand than my right hand but I just love these they're beautiful they look natural I told my mom and sister-in-law yesterday I said hey do you like my plastic nails and they like did not believe me at first that they were plastic because they look so good and to put that on I've been using this kiss power flex precision nail glue I really like this it has a really long tip so it's just easy to work with so I've been using this and I got a trick from Brittany Vassour on how to make your plastic glue on nails last longer and these feel so secure let me tell you so definitely do this trick. I know it is not good for your nails. I am very well aware but let's be honest is doing anything to your nails good for them? No it's not. So this is a super um, gritty it's a coarse nail file so what you want to do is rough up your nail bed just a little just scruff it up a little bit and then you'll use the glue on the nail bed and then put a little bit on the back of the nail press it down and let me tell you these babies are not going anywhere they last so well I absolutely love them the petite size like I said it's my favorite because I don't have to do any sort of filing I like my nails to be shorter I do not like having long nails it just does not work for me and my lifestyle I put contacts in and when my nails are too long it, I have a really hard time getting them out so I have to have shorter nails otherwise my contacts are never coming out and that is not good for you um, or I'm like stabbing myself in the eye I just haven't perfected getting the contacts out with long nails so I have to have them short I'm also more comfortable with short nails I don't feel like myself when I have really long nails so that's why I love these you can paint them I did do that I had a really pretty pink shimmery um, almost a sheer color so it, you could still see the natural nail it just had like a pink shimmer to it which was gorgeous so if you don't want this um, French kind of style you can paint them so just know that the other kind of plastic nails I'm loving are the impress brand I think this is also by kiss if, yes it is it's by kiss 
the Impress band, brand. Um, these literally just have sticky on the back. You peel off the back, you slap them down, you're good to go. These will last for about a week or so, I have found. The only thing I would say I don't care for this is that they are a little bit longer. I do tend to need to trim them. If you don't mind long nails or if you have really long nail beds, these will be good for you. If you have really long nail beds, these will not be good for you. Like, they just won't. Like, my friend and coworker, these fit her really well, just natural. Like, they look like her nails. On me, they look really long. Like, these would not work for her. They wouldn't even cover her nail bed. So just keep that in mind. But these I love because they're super fast. You don't have to have glue. You just stick them down, and they look gorgeous. You can file them if you want. You can leave them long if you want. Um, these are amazing. They also come with, like, cute little decal nails. I don't always use these, but they are fun if you want to have, like, an accent nail or something. I have these in so many different colors. Anytime I see one, I pick it up in a color that I like because I just like having these on hand. If I'm in a pinch, can't paint my nails, but I want my hands to look nice and I don't have time for glue, these are perfect. The only thing I don't like about this is that the backs of them, once your nails start to grow out, your hair, if you run your fingers through your hair, will get stuck in the back of your nail bed and it hurts because they're sticky back there, your hair's getting stuck, you're pulling it out, so I don't care for that. And then because my nail beds are short and that sticky extends a lot further, it doesn't adhere to my full nail. So the backs of the nails, like it has the sticky there and sometimes like they'll get kind of gross. You have to really get in there with a the nail brush and, and clean that. Oh, my dad's calling. Hold please. Hello. Sorry about that. My dad is heading over to help hang some shelving that I got. Um, are any of you like this? Like once you have something and you have an idea, you want it done now. You don't want to wait. <laughs> That's how I am. My husband is out of town right now. He's visiting his dad to play golf, um, a few hours away. And I asked my dad if he'd come over and hang this up because Chase won't be home till much later tonight. And I want to work on this now. It's, um, shelving for my pantry so I can organize it better. So anyways, he's coming over to do that. Okay. So anyways. These are great, but just keep in mind, like if you have short nail beds, the sticky does kind of interfere and your hair can get stuck in the back. But all in all, these are great. They're awesome in a pinch. They have really fun designs. So check them out if you haven't. They're under $10, six or seven, depending on where you get them. They're awesome. I really love these. These are my favorite though, if you have the time to glue. Okay, last thing I'm gonna share with you are these Dashing Diva Gloss Ultra Shine Gel Color Stickers. This is like when Jamberry was a big deal, or I think it's Color Street now. Jamberry was a big pain in the butt. Let's be honest. You had to get out like a hair dryer or a heater and stick it down, file it off. Those are a big pain in the butt. These, you don't need heat. I think these are comparable to probably the Color Street. I just haven't tried anything from Color Street. Um, these you can pick up at Walmart or um, Ulta carries them. They're awesome. This is just the straight pink color, which I love, but they do have a lot of packs that have accent nails. Again, like how these do, they'll have these with accent nails and they have really fun designs like for holidays and things like that. But these are awesome. You just stick them right down, file off the end and you're good to go. And these last for like a full two weeks. They look beautiful. They don't peel off. They don't chip. So these are also really, really good. If you don't want to deal with plastic nails, but you don't want to like paint them, these are wonderful. Definitely check them out. I will link everything below that I can. Let me know if you love doing an at-home manicure or if you are a salon gal, and I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Bye, guys.